This is the brand new 2023 Toyota Prius, and it can be yours for $35,000. Or you can get this 1996 Bentley Azor for the exact same price. For $35K, which would you spend your hard-earned money on? It's a harder decision than you might think. Not for me. Today, we're going to drive both of these cars, figure out which one is a better value. And just for the heck of it, we're going to see which one wins in a drag race. We're even. We're even. I hear that V8 schooling up, though. Welcome to Donut. The Bentley is a classic luxury car with a huge engine and a long pedigree of British excellence. It's literally built for royalty. When this car came out in 1996, it was 215,000 British pounds. Convert that to American dollars and adjust for inflation, and that's over $550,000 in today's money. And you don't even get cup holders. No, you don't need cup holders, no. Refreshing enough, There's something about British luxury cars when you get in. I feel like I'm in a library. Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of older, nicer cars that you get that you kind of compromise comfort or safety. You don't sacrifice any of that in this thing. It's easy to drive, it's built like a tank, so it's super safe, and it's massively comfortable. This is like one of the most comfortable cars I've ever driven. The Bentley is a beautifully crafted machine. But the thing about aging luxury cars is that you run into a few complications. Brand new this thing was, 317 USD, but it depreciates quite quickly. And with this particular car costing $35,000 today, that is a depreciation of about 89%. Woo! You might see it as a bad investment. I see it as an opportunity. Notoriously, luxury brands appreciate more so than like a cheaper brand because someone who wants to buy a Bentley doesn't want to use Bentley. They want a new Bentley. And there's just not as big of a market for the used stuff. On the other hand, the Prius will depreciate about 17% over five years. And that's probably because most people are more willing to buy a used Prius because of their reputation for reliability. You know what you're getting with the Toyota. You know it's gonna be reliable. You know you're not gonna have to service it very often. That keeps the value relatively high. Unlike the Bentley James, I don't feel very special or important in this thing. Yeah, I feel like I got the raw end of the deal <laughs> in a lift. Like my friends are in the back. <laughs> And I have to sit up here and make conversation make with you. With yeah. Your guy driving. Yeah. All right, James, let's talk about why you would want to buy a Prius in the first place. Well, I would never buy a Prius. Well, it's got a ton of features. Super comfortable, amazing gas mileage, so you're saving money while you drive it. And I think a lot of those features are things that most people who buy this car have never had. Yeah. All right, I've got a huge camera in my rear view mirror, but that's not really a problem in the Prius. Flip it up and I get a video rear view mirror, James. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. That was a mirror? Yeah. And you and flipped it, now it's a TV. Yeah. The new um, cars are nice. This is the first Prius with premium stuff like this rear view camera in the rear view mirror. The technology has just kind of come down to this level. And also, this is the fastest Prius ever. It's got two liter four cylinder now. Combined, I think this makes 194 horsepower altogether with the hybrid system. It gets the car to zero to 60 in a claim 7.1 seconds, which is not fast. Not fast, but it's a lot faster than the previous one, which did it in 10 seconds. Now this one is super loaded, but it's not the wildest version of this that we've seen. No, over in Le Mans, Toyota debuted a GR Prius concept. I would be surprised if they built it and put it into production, but if they did, uh, I'm super open to driving it. I'd love oh, to see what a sure, sports dude. car Prius feels like. I don't think the gas mileage on a sports car Prius would be very good, but I'm still open to it. We clearly have two very different cars for the same amount of money. To find out which one is really worth the cash, we're gonna run them through a gauntlet of tests. Test number one, AC cool down test. Luxury is something that we take for granted these days. Something that was super luxurious and fancy in 1996 is commonplace or even expected today. For our first test, we're gonna use this temp gun to see how fast the AC systems in each of these cars cools it down to a nice 69 degrees. Three, two, one. It's 96 right now. 95. All right, we are currently AC reading at 90, 101 degrees. You can turn on high. I didn't realize it was so low. 
Oh, that's fast. That's moving now. Yeah. I mean, it's already really, really cold. Oh, it's already just. Oh, it's already there. It's 56. Now let's see how long it takes in the Bentley. Well, right off the bat, this thing is just hot um, to the touch. Yeah, well, we did leave the top down, so we can't hold that against it. All right, ready? ready? Three, two, one, Currently at 87. Go. It's on high. There we Here go. go. So now the fan kicked on. It still feels pretty hot. Well, not hot, though. All right, we're down five degrees. 74, 76. 69, 38 seconds. 38 seconds. All right, not bad. So for 40 seconds of being hot, you can have a much cooler car. And the winner is the Prius. Duh. It was just amazingly fast, and yeah, that's not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, but it takes a while to cool down a manor. Test number two, interior quietness. Yeah. 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 One of the things that luxury automakers tout is the fact that their interiors are so quiet. Let's see how quiet a $35,000 Bentley is compared to a $35,000 Toyota. Shh. All right, so we're hovering around 65 decibels. Nice, and that was at 40 miles an hour, so we'll okay. do that in the Bentley. So the driver's side window does not go up, but we're gonna do a decibel test. Bentleys are known for being quiet places to be. I'm going 40 miles an hour. All right, we're uh, hanging out at around 68 to 69 decibels, just a few decibels louder than the Prius, but of course our window is down. So I think this thing's kind of fighting with one arm behind his back. I think I call that a draw, James. Yeah, we had the window down in the Bentley. It was very quiet. I think if the window would have gone up, it would have been. I think so. I agree. But <laughs> that window didn't go up because it has a $1,300 window regulator <laughs> that's broken. Next, we're going to test parallel parking. So I think the power steering went out. Oh, good. So the Prius might have all kinds of electric aids that help you park your car, but that is no replacement for good old fashioned British no top. Go outside the queen. How am I? You're good. You're good on the side. How about in the front? You're good here. Great. Right there, like a glove, Like dude. a glove, dude. And I was going a little slower because it's someone else's car and I don't have any power steering. So, boom. Well, James, that was very impressive. What is a little more impressive, though, is a car that parks itself. Let's try this out. No parking space. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's super impressive. Start forward. Can I press that? Oh. Scan environment. Initiate parking. Buckle up, boys. The future is now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Backing up. Whoa. Sick, dude. Slightly faster than I did it. Yeah, but I'm gonna give you props, James, because we're much further away from the curb than you were. Oh, dude, way far. Yeah. I would never park that far no, like me neither. Pretty impressive, but I'm still better than a robot. For now. <laughs> Google certainly just goes balls. Who do you think won that challenge, James? With the top down, the Bentley was a breeze to park. You did an excellent job. Thank you. The Prius parked itself, but was about a foot and a half away from the curb. Power steering did go out in the Bentley while we were parking. Mm, I, Prius parks itself. <laughs> it parks itself. Oh. Everything that the Prius does, if that did, it would be cooler. Now you guys know as well as we know, as car enthusiasts, we're willing to deal with a lot in order to have a car with a bit of character, but what does a normal person think? Well, we gathered a bunch of normal people to ask them just that question. All right, Elaine, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Do you wanna step in, Kyle? Yeah. From the side? Yeah. Hey, my name's Kyle. My name is Phoebe. Madison Hamburg. It's Elaine Ballas. Paris Howard. It's Courtney T. What I look for in a car is comfort. I love to stand out. Really could care less what it does as long as it drives. Could you see yourself in a big car ever? Sure, if someone else is driving. <laughs> Ooh, well, it's very pretty. 
definitely nice. It's got, it's got a nice little futuristic look. It feels like a car I would rent from the airport. You know, the exterior is pretty low key. It's 52 miles per gallon. God damn. Damn, this is definitely the nicest Prius I've ever seen. I mean, this is the kind of car you want when you get a newborn. I don't think a newborn could drive this thing. <laughs> what do you think of this car, though? <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, I want this one. It looks like a Bentley. Yeah, I got to get inside this guy. It's nice, but it's old. It feels like a boat. This is definitely me. Gas mileage not going to be as good. But I'm assuming it's really heavy and probably dangerous. I told you it was $35,000. OK, here, put on my card. If we had $35,000 to spend, we would choose this car. You know, I think I'm going with this guy. I think you would have to have another car, but I think I would love to have a Bentley. This is just more my vibe. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. I would definitely choose um, our first car due to the new model. If it was an older model, no way. Surprisingly, five of six went for the Bentley. So the old dog wins this round, but there's still a score to settle. It's time for a drag race. The Bentley has a massive V8 with almost 400 horsepower, but this new Prius is the quickest one yet. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go! We're even. We're even. I hear that V8 spooling up, though. And he is fast. OK. <laughs> I think the Bentley would have pulled away from us for a little bit. But man, we kept up with him. That was pretty fun. Once it came on, it was on, baby. And that's about what I expected. Five out of six normal people went with the Bentley. And I am shocked to say, I would probably disagree with it. Me too. 100%. Um, the window doesn't go up. <laughs> yeah, and the power steering went out while we were driving. We have owned this car for 10 hours, and it has cost us thousands <laughs> of dollars. On average, it's $2,500 a year just to keep it on the road. It's insane. I mean, I, if I had to have one car, I would definitely choose this because this would start and go and get you there every single time. Could not agree more, James. That being said, uh, the Bentley. The Bentley is so sick. It's though. very cool. Thank you guys for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Make sure you don't miss anything. Hit that subscribe button. We upload multiple times a week. Nolan and I also co-host a podcast called Pass Gas. If you're an OG and you miss up to speed, Pass Gas might give you that fix. If this is your only car, you're nuts. Or old bridge. You know what I dislike that they've taken out of cars? CD players. And I have so many CDs. <laughs> well, I even have tapes. <laughs> I think they should put the CD players back.